Hey everybody, I'm trying something new. Well, I'm looking for something to do today and I found it. A couple of weeks ago, I ordered a NECOT system. There's the front covers off of it, the excluder part of it, and the back part. Bees climbing up my leg, but anyhow. A couple hours ago, I took in uh, my queen. I know she's not supposed to be in there according to the, the way it works, but I got her caged up in there overnight. She don't seem to be laying the best in the world, so, and I got some new queens coming from California this week, some Cordovians. But I just wanted to do some experimenting and give away some queens to some buddies or whatever. If they turn out to be any good, they won't be mated, but still, they might be able to do it. So today was something like uh, day three where I took them out of the box with the little brown cups. And then I took the little brown cups and picked them up with the yellow. There's the little brown cups. And snapped them on the, the brown that I got. Here's a good one you can see right there. On there, and of course this is just a piece of maple that I got stuck in here. With some more on it. And uh, as a for the learning process, the ones on the top bar here, all those had a little bit of uh, creamy jelly in them. Whereas all of these here just had an egg in them. Now there was a couple of them on one end or the other, I can't remember. They had some creamy jelly in it, maybe in this end here. Just, just saying, because it's got more bees on it. But that's kind of the test and see if, uh, how much difference that made. This is a pollen patty. I just cut a piece of it and throw it up there and they seem to be taking it pretty well. They've got a lot of resources. If you can see, uh, you can't see through it. Yeah, there's a lot there, there's there, and there's a lot of pollen in here, and in the frame back, that's behind them, that's really, where's my finger, there it is, really loaded up, and of course I got some sugar water up there feeding on them, but uh, this is a test, I, I'm calling these right here like day three and four, maybe day three, where is it at, there it's day three up here, and since these hadn't hatched yet, I was calling these like day one, day two which is too soon to take them out but I don't need 30 queens that's for sure and uh, this queen here got superseded about a month ago so she's actually a new queen but here was another queen cell and there was two or three more I took them out and put them just made another newt and throwed them in it and they're eating this up I don't know if uh, she's come out and they're tearing it down or they just didn't think she was going to be any good or whatever. I don't have a clue. But uh, I figured if uh, bees are capable of taking a not so great queen and superseding, where's it at? Superseding. And superseded queens do great. Then by that analysis, these should be all good queens because the workers would flip out anybody that was a drone or whatever I'm sure so we'll see but again we're calling this day three and uh, the various things that I'm testing here is um, the little drippings of royal jelly that was put into these when they were horizontal versus these here is basically eggs also pollen patty how quick they'll eat it they hadn't normally ever wanted a pollen patty and whether or not this queen sitting right here is going to be a bad situation and keep them to be, uh, what's the word, less motivated. They're supposed to be more mo more motivated if there's no queen present. But I'm assuming that there's an unmated queen just hatched in there. So I got to fiddle around and try to find her because I'm going to put one of my uh, new Cordovian queens in here. And then I got another one that I just finished today. I re remodeled the uh, old one. Anyhow, there you go. Jibber, jabber, jibber, jabber. I was looking for something to do, and uh, these old girls kind of hooked pop, pop up today. They got my legs in a couple of places. Oh well. Got a couple of fingers. When you quit using the smoke on them, where the smoke runs out. And you reach that hand in there kind of quick like that. They get a little frisky. 
Anyway, let's see how this works. I'll try to keep up with this. And again, I want to remind me that these had some, a little dabbage of natural royal jelly that they put in there when they were horizontal, and then I turned them vertical. And most of these were just like one day old eggs or two day old eggs. So I did separate them a, a dab. Let's see how it goes and see if they stay motivated even with the queen here. And the fact that maybe her pheromones are not that great might give them some incentive to do mo better. Who knows? Anyhow, they got it covered up. Oh, and this is cute, cool. I think that's the one. I can't see. There's a bee on that one. Let me find one. It's pretty neat. These have been in here three or four hours. There's a good one you can see. And they've already started, uh, not the term cap, and drawing them out to uh, make the queen cones. Not coma, but cone us. Oh, there's a good one right there. Where's my finger at there, just Because these are a little clear opaque things. Let me, uh, if somebody hadn't ever seen one, we'll walk over here and look at one right quick, like. And there's a little brown cup. And since while we're going, I didn't know what else to do with this thingy doodle, so I set it in the refrigerator. Come on up out of there. This is the back side, and the caps fit over these. Is that correct? Yes. Yes. And this is the queen side. And she'll lay in there, and the workers can go through the, uh, the cover that's on it. And they actually start building queen cells on this cone here. So I don't know. I'm assuming she don't smell good enough to them. But all I did was lay them down like this and just pick the brown cups up, looked in them with a flashlight and super glasses on and popped them in the little yellow holders and then clicked them into the brown. All right. I think that's everything. Oh, get something on here to look at to close it with. Have a good day.